You're part of a stalking that's been going on for 90 days, boy. So anyway... Do you hear me? The squirrel himself. How you doing, Mr. Squirrel? Scientology is one of the world's most mysterious and controversial organizations. Now, it could be facing one of its biggest challenges yet, as Marty Rathbun, a senior member of the church, has escaped. I'm the anvil that can break all hammers. He lifts the lid on the inner secrets of Scientology, as the tactics he once helped devise are now used against him. Come on, Marty. Got anything to say? His actions clearly show that he is anti-Scientology. Get that out of here. He's perceived as a danger to Scientology, not just for his insider knowledge, but because he's become a rallying point for other dissidents around the world. That little rat is trapped in that house. Get off the cart, Paul. Can he survive and set up an independent version of Scientology? I'm Maybe telling you something right battery. now. Shut the As the weight of the church comes down on him and his wife. What if they kidnap me or something like that? to get him to stop what he's doing. This is the thing with these guys. They just keep cranking it up. It's like all things Marty! <laughs> or will he be destroyed by the very organization he helped build? Did you ever see me hurt anybody? A group calling themselves the Squirrel Busters have descended on Marty Rathbun's sleepy seaside town. They tell locals they are producing a documentary expose that will reveal who Marty really is. The whole basis of Scientology is that you follow L. Ron Hubbard's processes to the letter. And it was L. Ron Hubbard who grew this organization. So to leave that organization and say you're going to practice Scientology away from it, uh, the church just considers anybody that does that a heretic, or in their word, a squirrel. Come on, Marty. You got anything to say? You can't even defend yourself on this, can you? What's your name? I gave you my name, Marty. What's your name? Marty, I gave you my name. What's now let's go take a look at a folder. What's your name? Why don't you answer his question? What's your name? Marty, let's take a look at a folder. You can't touch him, Marty. What's your name? Come on, Marty. Go get me your meter. You're squirreling, and we would like to What's see What's your that name, please? The, the squirrel busters were uh, trusted, high-level Scientology members organized by the Office of Special Affairs, the propaganda and dirty tricks arm of the Church of Scientology, sent down to get in my face and to make my life a living hell. You're interrupting the delivery of Scientology, which is... Uh, Marty, you don't deliver Scientology. It happened for scary. years. I've been reading your blogs, Marty. There's just no way you're delivering anything to do with Scientology. All right, I've got you guys now. Now leave, and don't come back. You know, they have a whole camera crew, um, and people dressed up with shirts with my face and blazoned on it with a uh, international strikeout symbol across it. I told you to leave. Get oh, out no, of here. Oh, no, I'm leaving. Beat it. Now, who's busting who? Marty, you're the one who's busting because you're the squirrel. I said, get off my property, boy. Okay. And they told me they were going to be there for as long as it takes. I, I know exactly what that means. And that's David Miscavige language. That means until I am uh, busted financially and penniless. Are you guys going to stick around here? Yeah, Marty, we're here for weeks, weeks and weeks. As long as it takes. And then after that day, it was just every day for almost 200 days. They were just always in our face. Five cameras. There's one. There's two on the head. There's three with Ralph. There's four with Bart. We have just discovered five on Bart's head. He's got a... They were telling people they were making a documentary as a cover, but they would go out there and just say the most salacious things about myself and my wife. Marty has no regard for Mosey as a woman. We know that from the type of sex toys in his collection. They've sent sex toys to my job. They've sent PIs to my dad's house, to my ex-husband, to all my ex-co-workers, my ex-boss. I mean, they've done, they've done. You name it, they've done it. Fuck off. Get off the cart, Paul. The end game is not, you know, having your, your throat slit in your sleep. The end game is you thinking those things are a possibility because of the creepy stuff they do do. And then you get so tired of living with that fear that you fold up your tent and you go home. And what's it going to take to make you go home, Marty? Take? <laughs> There's nothing they can do. They can't do anything.